temperature may have topped 37 degrees, but that didn't stop thousands turning out to Geelong's annual celebration of its vast multicultural tapestry. Numbers were down on previous years because of the heat, but Paco Festa still put on its best face for its 30th birthday, with goodwill and diversity stretching the length of Packington Street. For many, it's the chance to be proud of their heritage and culture, and for others, it's the chance to be proud of their city. Let's the parade begin! Hello, Cameron Best reporting for the Geelong Advertiser, where thousands have lined the streets for the annual Paco Festa along Packington Street in Geelong. years ago and I thought it was a wonderful concept and uh, I want to take it to the rest of Victoria. But it was the street parade which captured the imagination, led by 30 people upholding the theme of the day dressed as Brazilian samba icon Carmen Miranda. One of the Carmens, Robin Martinez, said the parade embodied the colour and culture of Paco Festa. You'll see the Aboriginals and people with disabilities and 39 other ethnic groups here today. Yeah. So that's great. Fantastic celebration. It takes away the fear of the unknown. It takes away the fear that we are different. So it brings people together. It engages people and they see that they've got many things in common. And our greatest strength is our ability to come together, to live together in peace and harmony. And this celebration is about that. It's about who we are and being able to live together in peace Sweet. and harmony. And, and it really doesn't matter whether you're uh, Aboriginal or Macedonian or Greek or Italian. It, it doesn't matter because all cultures have got common core values. Those of friendship, fair go for all, compassion, understanding and respect. And as long as we adhere to those common core values, then we will continue to live in peace and harmony. While the Chinese dragons were perennial favourites with the crowd, the Dutch had an impressive float, complete with a windmill. Plenty of parade entrants took the opportunity to wish Paco Festa a happy 30th, while hardy fans of Home and Away took the opportunity to get up personal with the stars. The Chinese and Melbourne Indonesian communities shared the award for the most culturally aware in the parade, while Highton Primary School was judged best school entrant. numbers that have turned out for these events are well over 100,000 people so I would suggest that that is the biggest event not only in Victoria but indeed the nation for sure. And to see the length of the parade just about every community represented. Oh it was fantastic. Yeah, 54 different communities I think were, uh, were represented today and uh, you know it's just a great colourful uh, enjoyable day. You know there's no doubt that multiculturalism as it should be is alive and well in Geelong. It certainly adds to who we are, it gives us what we've got and uh, we can certainly continue to learn from each other. It's a great day, great event. Absolutely. Go well done. <laughs>